guys, I hope you're all really well. If you don't know me, my name is Lucy and this is my channel, Lucy and the Bump. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a really annoying, cryptic, sort of annoying <laughs> Instagram post that I put up saying that I had something really exciting going on and I couldn't share it. But I really, really couldn't share it. It really was a secret and I was bursting with excitement so I just felt like I had to post something. I just felt like I needed to let out some of that excitement so I did it on Instagram but I'm really sorry if that post was a little bit annoying um, or if you were like dying to know what it was. Just to clear something up straight away, no I am not pregnant. I know that's like the first thing that people think you have to share when you've got a secret or a surprise. I'm definitely not pregnant, in fact this is like quite the opposite. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you exactly what my exciting, exciting news that's going on is. A few months ago I saw something that somebody shared on Twitter and it was a charity challenge and it was basically a trek in Amman for 75 kilometres I think uh, for seven days and in my half asleep state I decided to apply for it and I got a place. The lovely Giovanna Fletcher also did a video about this which I'm going to post on here now so you can go ahead and watch it if you want to um, about the actual event a little bit more. Um, yep, she posted about it and I realised that the thing both were connected and I'd applied for it and yeah, I got my place. It's literally so insane. Me and my boobs are going to Amman. Cannot believe that I just grabbed my boobs on camera. This is like the first and last time that will ever happen. I am going on behalf of an amazing charity called Copperfield who are out there to raise awareness for breast cancer and to basically get young people and older people, women and men, checking their boobs for breast cancer. I had no idea that men could actually get breast cancer. I don't know if you knew that, but yes, men can get breast cancer too. If I'm honest, I am totally freaking out. I am not sporty whatsoever. I don't even enjoy camping. I have done camping quite a few times at festivals, but that is usually fueled by cider and music and not... I don't spend like the whole day trekking across mountain terrain and desert in 30 degree heat beforehand. So yeah, I am freaking out. This is totally bringing me out of my comfort zone. I like to wear makeup and look quite put together. I like to, you know, dress nicely and wear makeup and have my hair done nicely. And I'm not gonna be able to do any of this. So it's taking me on such out my comfort zone. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but that is the point in a challenge, right? So a little bit more about the trek. We are trekking for, I believe, six or seven days um, in 30 degree heat in Amman, which is near Dubai, if you don't know. Uh, we're being set a series of challenges along the way. I will be trekking with the amazing Greg Rutherford who is an Olympian and also Giovanna Fletcher who is not only an amazing author and vlogger and YouTuber and actress but she's also one of my lovely friends so I am so glad that I'm going to be doing this with her so when we miss our boys or when we're just crying with pain because we don't want to walk any further at least we can like cuddle each other and kind of try and laugh about it. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on why I want to do this. Obviously I want to raise money for Copperfield because they're amazing but also I have been affected by cancer in my life. Not directly myself and not breast cancer. My fiance Scott had a brain tumour back in ooh, 2015, I'm losing track of time, 2015. He was diagnosed with a grade 4 cancerous brain tumour. It was all very sudden, very shocking. Um, yeah, I haven't done any videos on it, but I don't know if you want me to. <laughs> Thank God he had it successfully removed and he had surgery and radiotherapy and he was given the all clear um, quite a few times now. He's obviously in remission and he's just actually had an MRI scan, which was completely clear, which is insane. It's so, so amazing and lovely. It's so amazing that he is healthy now and battled cancer and obviously survived it. I knew that this year I wanted to do something for charity. It was almost like a secret resolution. I made to myself. I'm not really one for setting goals or resolutions but I did set myself this one challenge in my head and I thought I really want to give something back somebody saved my partner's life and whether it's a breast cancer charity, a brain tumour charity, I wanted to do something to give back and this opportunity obviously came around and I took it and I got a place so it's just something that I'm obviously meant to do. I also have a lovely friend called Asha who I have had the pleasure of meeting via the blogging and YouTube world. She is amazing inspiration to me. She has really sadly been diagnosed with the big C and she is fighting a very very hard battle but she has been told that she might not have um, a great length of time left here. So I know that one of her aims is to get girls and men checking their boobs 
as a regular thing. There really is just no point in waiting. If you think anything is unusual in your boobs, just go to the doctors. It might be absolutely nothing, but if it is something, you can get it sorted there and then, instead of waiting and maybe ending up in a really awful situation where your life might be cut short. I'm actually gonna link Asha's Instagram page below because she absolutely cracks me up. She's really inspiring, really, really positive, and I think if you don't follow her already, you will really enjoy following her because she's a real, real lovely, lovely person. So I'm doing this for Asha, I'm doing it for Scott, I'm doing it for anybody that's been affected by cancer, by breast cancer, I'm doing it for anybody who hasn't had breast cancer yet and might in the future. I really just want to give cancer the big middle finger. So there you go, sometime in November this year, you will find me crying up a mountain somewhere in the Middle East. I am going to be vlogging the entire thing so I don't know how interesting it's going to be because I feel like it is mainly going to be me moaning, crying, um, sweating, looking gross. I hope that this news is um, as exciting for you as it is for me. I feel like I'm taking you all with me as I'm going to vlog the whole thing. Feeling proud of myself already even though I haven't done it yet but I'm feeling proud of myself for going out there and doing something like this and all before I turn 30 as well. If you would like to support me on my trek and raise some money for Copperfield as I would really really like to smash my target I'm going to pop my link to my page below which is live now. I would love it, love it, love it if you can donate. If you can't donate then please just support me in any way you can, send me a message and tell me I'm going to be okay or share it with somebody you think that this might inspire. If you've donated already then I love you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!